Hi everyone, welcome to Do Daily, Monday Motivation, it's Des here, checking in on a Monday for the final time this year, but really looking forward to finishing off strong, what's been an absolutely amazing year, plenty of reflection to come as the week goes by, but for today, what I'm looking to do is look back on an amazing Christmas period, and just remind of a few things that I feel are particularly important doing do daily in the way I do. Encouragement to look at our own mental health, encouragement to be positive, and of course, plenty of encouragement to take part in activity wherever you can. That's what I love doing. It's my real belief that good physical health contribute, contributes to really good mental health so at the moment, I'm out and about, getting in a Monday evening walk. And it is just a walk today. Really pleased to report that I completed my own mini challenge of running 25 days, 5k a day, in the build up to Christmas day. Yesterday, finally ticked that one off with a park run before setting about all the festivities and all the celebrations and that's something i really enjoy doing i've done it a lot i've spoke about it over the last 25 or so days of the importance of it to me it's it's been great in the build up to christmas while life gets busy things can just get a little bit in the way whether they're for good or bad reasons they still get a little bit in the way and it just keeps me mindful of all the things i need to do Taking that forward, I'll be looking to use it to build upon for marathon training. I've got the London Marathon in April. And that, for all the reasons I've just mentioned, was also used as a solid base to get my own personal training going. It's not been the easiest of times for me in terms of exercise and doing all the things I want. I've had to rearrange, cancel, postpone plans. The, the marathon itself, I should have done in October, but just not in the right, I was gonna say frame of mind, it's more fitness levels, but not in the frame, frame of mind either. Digging deep for motivation to get the required training in and put myself in the best possible position. So that challenge this year, again, another reason to do it was to give myself that base level of fitness. I'll take a couple of days off now and I am looking forward to that. I will get out, I'll get plenty of walks in. Christmas time is an amazing time to do that. But I'll just take the pace off for a few days before looking to pick it up again towards the end of the week. More part ones, the double header, actually finished with two part ones, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I really enjoyed that whilst it was tough at the end really really last week or so really felt it you know having started almost from scratch as mentioned found it really tough to get through but i did get through it and that's what that's all that really matters you know one ticked off evidence again that i can make myself accountable i can dig in when the going gets tough and come out of it feeling pleased and proud of myself for achieving something along the way it was a challenge that was great to me over years and it's always given me that accountability and I'm always talking about accountability on Do Daily, aren't I? Being here to pass on my thoughts, being the person who wants to support good mental health, you know, encourage positivity. And that's all Do Daily is about. Anybody checking in for the first time might wonder what the hell is going on here. It's just me prodding around, trying to use my experiences like that challenge to encourage others to do the things they enjoy it might not necessarily be of a activity and exercise persuasion but we have to use all the things that make us tick to feel good about some of the things that don't necessarily make us tick you know some of the things that we have to sort of struggle through the necessities in life that we have to do and sometimes we need to find motivation and inspiration to do it and all i'm trying to be is a very normal person who leads 
a very normal life, you know, but feels that wherever I can, I want to encourage people and show people that doing what I've just said there about being very normal could just be the inspiration sometimes to show people it's absolutely okay. And I think there's something I definitely want to mention today. On Christmas Eve, myself and Kay um, took a bit of time out. Uh, we put a lot out throughout the year. I'm not blowing our own trumpet, you know. I'm not um, putting ourselves out there and saying we do this and that and the other. But most days of the year, just about every day, I'm doing some kind of running group. I'm doing do daily, of course, trying to help through this, you know, or just talking to people. Kay does a brand is. So we took a bit of time out for ourselves, and even before Christmas Day, where we had family around, where we had plenty to do and plenty of enjoyment, we took time to have a bit of an afternoon, a celebration for just ourselves. And we took ourselves off to the cinema. We we both we both haven't hadn't sorry seen It's a Wonderful Life. Wow, what a film! What an afternoon that was. So uplifting and reassuring do you know that when times get tough we just have to remember sometimes the good things i encourage that all the time but if you haven't seen that film yet or even if you have refer back to it what a film do you know what a, a feel good holding back the tears at the end I, I won't deny how soft i am at things like this these days especially since i've been with Kay. but it was just a reminder like i say that do you know, we all play a part in this world, you know, no matter what we do, we make a difference every day. And I've seen a lot of people sort of putting messages out to support mental health and uh, speaking about how difficult it can be at this time of the year in the build up to Christmas. But I think sometimes that gets a little bit forgotten after Christmas, you know, once the big day's been and gone. And it just made me think. A lot of the time, that's probably where the problems actually start. It doesn't end on Christmas Day. Do you know, it's, it is worth reminding. I'm not dismissing that in the build-up. It is worth sparing a thought and encouraging people to reach out. It's what I was doing last week. But it, it's also worth reminding that if people have spent time alone or things have happened over the past year, on a day like Christmas Day, do you know, it can really hit home. So what I'm... What I'm basically getting to is I'm almost trying to lend that support, extend that support further towards the new year. Because if anyone is feeling sort of tough, if feeling it, feeling a bit rough and things haven't gone to plan and might not be as happy as they want to be and, and the time of year is getting to them, do you know, I'll keep encouraging them to, to reach out because like I said there, it's not time to necessarily stop, is it? All the good work is done in the build-up to Christmas, asking people to think of themselves, you know, and, and reach out and start the communication going in terms of how they're feeling. But we have to carry that on. And just sort of going back to the, the film, It's a Wonderful Life, just made me realise that, because it's when those communication lines stop, isn't it? It's when people stop encouraging people to talk encouraging people to to do things george bailey the star of the film had a guardian angel and i'm not trying to be that you know i just want to be some kind of support for anyone that's been feeling it there's bizarrely and i've referred to it over time there's certain people who had a massive impact on my thinking you know people i never expected it to be some things stick with me from when i was feeling low and rough particularly at christmas there was a time at christmas where i was feeling it some things really stuck with me about what people said when people said this it didn't matter what i thought of them it was just the relevance of what they were saying but then other times there's been actions i speak a lot of our jamie a guy who i met through the running group when i started that who took his own life sadly we was a little bit too late i was a little bit too late to have a real impact on what was going on there but again, it shaped what I do and how I sort of approach things and how I'm hell-bent on making things happen. Do you know, in the film, I won't give away too many spoilers, uh, George Bailey was contemplating his life, do you know, and 
he had a guardian angel to pick him up. Ouch, Amy unfortunately didn't have that, but through all the adversity, you know, it's changed my life at least. So everything's got a meaning, hasn't it? Everything's got a purpose. And I just kind of wanted to use those examples, you know, what, what I've been doing to highlight that, to make sure after Christmas on a Monday, it's not a case of shutting down completely. I was just saying to Kay, literally before I came out, we've got a really quiet week. So whilst we had a bit of nice time and whilst I was telling you we give out to other people, you know, we've also got some really nice time this week where we can spend a bit more time together. That'll be important before the new year. I've mentioned the training, she's taking part in the marathon as well. So we're both looking to knuckle down in that. We both want to feel a bit better physically because again, I reiterate, I believe it helps mental health. Whilst we're in an absolutely fantastic place, you know, we've had an amazing year. We'll speak about that as the week goes on. I'll perhaps get into reflective mode and put a, a few videos out with content about that. But whilst we're feeling great, we could be even better and we know the importance of it. But what we have to do is keep doing all the things we do. I just look back to Christmas and even though it was a time for ourselves on Christmas Eve, there's a couple of gestures we made to, 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 to get people involved. We invited friends for breakfast. Didn't actually happen. But then we did one or two other nice things as well on Christmas Eve, even though it was our day you know, to support others, speaking to people personally. And then yesterday we invited a friend over who was alone just to share a bit of time yesterday evening, you know, just to make sure that they wasn't feeling it either. Do you know, I'm not gonna to say too much about that because there's a person involved there and this is not about individuals. It's not, whilst I talk about my examples, it's to try and make people feel better. But we invited a friend over, you know, we had them around for Christmas and it made for a fantastic evening. We didn't see it as doing something out there, but it's easy not to do it. And that's all I'm kind of saying. It's easy to think, well, it's Christmas now. Everybody's kind of plotted their path and going to enjoy the things they're doing their way. But we have to remember that it's not always that simple, isn't it? It was Christmas everybody needs a little bit of reassurance at times to know that people are there for them that people are there to support them and that they've got a chance to enjoy it as well i've enjoyed mine it's been absolutely amazing in all honesty christmas day itself both both sets of parents came over first time that's happened at ours you know first year we're married it was important to do that at the end of it. We, we invite them every year, but it was the first time that they've both been able to come over together. Two terrorizing dogs running around their feet. You know, it made for a busy house in what's normally me, my, me, Kay and, and Stanley, the puppy. He's made it busier, but in what's normally a quiet house, it made it busy, it made it fun, and it made it absolutely amazing. I've had a great Christmas. On top of that, a friend joined us in the evening. Watched a lot of sport today. It's what Boxing Day is for, for the sports fans. It's like Christmas Day for sports fans. I put that out on my own social media. So I'm having an absolutely good one. I'm out now getting some fresh air down by the River Trent, where I'm lucky enough to spend almost every day of the year. Really, really had a good one. Hope you've had a good one. Hope you've got all you wish for. Hopefully, you know, it's been amazing, fun and full of celebrations. If not, don't forget, still here to support, not going anywhere. If you need to reach out, I'd encourage you to do that. Please get in touch. But to end on a positive, have a good week. Make it full of further celebrations where you can. If you've got to work, if, you've got, if you're meeting up with people, you know, just look at the positives in it all. Look at the positives in what you're doing and it'll all come good in the end. It all started for me by a tough Christmas. You know, it was a time where 
I really took stock of what was happening, started looking forward, started connecting a New Year's resolution to go out running. Changed everything. Didn't happen straight away. I understand that too. So give it some thought, guys. That's all I'm saying. Finish strong if you can. If not, start even stronger. But until tomorrow, Tuesday training, perhaps I will get out for a run. I just thought it's Tuesday training, it's match day. Whilst I was allowing myself a little break from the running, you know, I love a pre match run. I'm actually going to Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams. So it's another exciting day amongst the quiet plans we've got. But until then, have a fantastic evening. Look forward to the week. Look back on everything that was good. Just doing it. <laughs>